night in the aviator's den, we try Old Overhaul, 10 year, tap strength, straight, dry whiskey. synonymous with your bottom shelf whiskey. A lot of us may pick up the bottled and bond to use in our cocktails, but recently at the end of 2023, Old Overholt released this 10 year straight rye whiskey. So this all came from uh, from one site, I believe it was their Claremont site, uh, 170 barrels, aged 10 years, they dumped it, released it as tap strength. We'll take a look at what's on the, what's on the bottle here. So, if you're not aware, uh, Old Overholt was established in 1810, uh, making it one of the oldest continuously run whiskey distilleries or whiskey distillery names in America. Uh, being purchased, at, I believe, in 87, uh, originally started out as a uh, Pennsylvania style rye whiskey. Now it's made in Kentucky, born in PA, made in Kentucky. So, here's what we got for the notes on the back it's a single year, single place. In every single drop in 2012, we laid down rye in our unique Escalator Warehouse 5. A decade later, we selected the best to be blended and bottled, tap strength, and unfiltered. This Kentucky rye is the result. Spice, depth, and unmistakable overhaul character. Claremont, Kentucky. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so we've got a 121 proof. It's coming in at 60.5%. So, uh, you know, a lot hotter than what we're used to seeing from uh, from the beam rise, uh, maybe start pushing into the Booker's or the uh, Elijah Clay, Craig, Barrel Proof. But uh, let's take a few moments here. And as one can imagine, the uh, the color, we get the, the deep, dark, caramel color, uh, H10-year. It appears to be the uh, same barrels there laid down in 12. At some point, uh, they decided the barrels, I guess, in the 22 time frame blended those 170 barrels together and uh, released in late 23. I was able to pick this up when uh, we were down on holiday in Texas. So being on the East Coast in the DMV area, I have not seen this particular release, but uh, I, I'm sure it's on its way or it possibly made it out here and is gone already. So like I said, you know, you've got the, the deep, dark caramel notes, uh, something that's been aged for a long time. You, you have that with the 10 year. So let's see here. First impression on the nose, you kind of get the the cherry, maybe the almost the old kind of style cherry cough syrup, but definitely a maple syrup. Looks like it's got a little more viscosity to it. Uh, if you're a wine person, it has a little bit of legs, clinks the side of the glass, brown sugar. But you know, it kind of ends with that very earthy, uh, continuously dry. Type, but you get a bit of sweetness coming from the nose. Uh, definitely, it's going to have a uh, a bit of a punch, probably some heat. And the mouthfeel is uh, is honestly a, a little different than what I was expecting. I don't necessarily get the. Uh, Get the cherry and the fruit you know i really get the strong rye the spice almost like a little black pepper as if uh you think when you when you when you make something you finish it off with black pepper you have that salad and you have that last uh, bit of cracked black pepper at the very end you get the strong pepper notes those kind of continue down throat nice long finish um cinnamon bacon spices here at the end uh lingers definitely aged you get a lot of oak really nice rye uh, MSRP 99 so hundred dollars I was able to pick it up for that price I think it's slightly less than that uh, phenomenal buy we start thinking of some of the bean products that are out there uh, that are aged we've got 10 year don't know the exact dates on all the bookers but many of them are younger than that they come in at the hundred usually a little more than that you've got some of the other uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof and so on uh, coming out 
So as you, you know, you think about this 170 barrels, relatively limited. I would honestly tell you to, uh, if you see it, if you're a rye person, grab it. It's got good age on it. It's got the good spiciness of a rye. Yet at the end, it's got the oak of an aged bourbon. So it's kind of got the best of both worlds, I would tell you. But uh, honestly, great product. Don't hesitate to pick this one up. You know, rush out, get your old overhold cast strength, save the bottle and bond for your old fashions in your Manhattans. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. I have some ideas on where I'd like to take this channel and uh, always open to feedback. So please give that feedback, provide us with some comments. We look forward to hearing from you. And again, thank you for joining us in the Aviator's Club.